Hello Squirrels and welcome to PPM6 TV. Today what it is is an absolute classic microphone. Now I know nobody overuses the word classic more than I do but it really is deserved today because we're looking at the classic AKG 451. I've got one of them um, here and we're kicking off in this video with the 451E which is uh, I think the first version there may have been a 451 without an E but I don't think I've ever seen one and uh, this one noticeably has no uh, filter no base cut on the body of the preamp whereas if you compare it to the 451 EB um, you can clearly see there's a little switch on there uh, and if you can't clearly see I'll, I'll do some nice uh, close-ups and drop them in through the video as we go along uh, now the I've I've blagged these I've got um, uh, four two E's and two EB's uh, I blagged these from my good friend Terry who's on holiday Terry I hope you're having a great time uh, and I hope you don't mind me um, showing off your mics while you're away these are vintage I think Terry bought these before he joined the BBC <laughs> which is a good uh, 20 or 30 years ago now. So these are very, very ancient indeed. Obviously, the EBs are a little bit newer. And uh, a couple of things to say, apart from the fact that there's no bass roll-off in the in the body, and I've obviously got that in the recording uh, system, is that the, the, they're interchangeable capsules. And the, um, the capsules look a bit like that. And uh, they have the world's finest thread. I I'm not even going to unscrew this one because... Uh, it was so easy to cross these threads uh, back in the day. And so um, we, we were very, very grateful when somebody invented, you know, this is a, uh, an AKG Blue Line, which kind of in a way was a, a successor to the 451 when they invented a nice bayonet. But you could get uh, different capsules. It was a very flexible system. I've only got Terry's CK1s. Uh, which are the cardioids, but there was Omni's figure of eights, hypercardioids, there were extension tubes, the VR, VR1s, VR2s, there were knuckles. I mean, there's just about everything you could think of in the system, and they were very, very well used both in radio and in telly. In fact, when I joined in radio, uh, the great question was, was a 451 uh, better than a Calrec? For those of you with very long memories, you know, and some people favoured the Calrec and some people favoured the, the, the 451. And the Calrecs like the 451s. They had the early models without the base roll-off and the later models. And Terry's actually got some Calrecs. And I said to him, well, why, why aren't we using the Calrecs, Terry? He said, well, the, the 451s take quite a long time to warm up. This one's been on, you know, for, for probably a good hour. And sometimes they, they fry a bit and, and, and are a little bit unhappy until they've, they've been warmed up. But he said the Calrecs take... Uh, four or five days to warm, <laughs> to warm up so if I can get them off in for four or five days uh, maybe we'll try one of these so what we'll do is we'll we'll have a listen to this 40 year old probably microphone and then we'll try although I think these are no longer made either the AKG uh, 300B with a, a, a CK9091 capsule uh, which is also a cardioid let you have a listen and see whether microphone technology has advanced at all in the intermediate uh, 40 years. I think the 451s may be back in production. Um, I don't really know, but I've seen some new ones kicking around. Anyway, this is um, Anthony Trollope, Barchester, uh, the Barchester Towers, um, and it's, it's classy, isn't it? Here we are. Chapter 1. Who will be the new bishop? In the latter days of July in the year of 1850-something, a most important question was for ten days hourly asked in the cathedral city of Barchester, and answered every hour in various ways. Who was to be the new bishop? And now the AKG Blue Line. I've left all the settings the same, the gain's the same, I've even put the same uh, windshield on. Um, let's return to Mr Trollope. Who will be the new bishop? In the latter days of July, in the year 1850-something, a most important question was for ten days hourly asked in the cathedral city of Barchester and answered every hour in various ways. Who was to be the new bishop? Who indeed, Mr Trollope? Well, if you read your way through Barchester uh, Towers, uh, you'll find out. And a very good read it is too. So there we are. I'm going to uh, have a listen to some other mics as well. But for this uh, first kickoff video, I thought we'd stick with AKG. Uh, AKG against AKG. Classic against modern-ish. Which do you prefer? Um, do uh, subscribe if you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for coming by. And I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.